Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on fractions, decimals, and percents. Here's what you'll learn. How to write equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. Now we've already worked with fractions and decimals in other videos. If you need a refresher on fractions and decimals, please check out my video titled Fractions and Decimals. This presentation will focus on percents and how to convert between these three types of numbers. Now let's look at the word percent. Per means out of. Cent means 100. In money we know one cent is one one hundredth of a dollar. And in history one century is 100 years. So taken together per and cent mean out of 100. Let's look at a number line to show this concept another way. Consider the number line below showing 0 to 1 or 1 whole. Since percents are part of 100, 0 will be 0 percent and the 1 or 1 whole is 100 percent. Now let's cut our line segment up into equal pieces of 10. Now each increment will represent 10 percent of our number line segment. For comparison purposes, let's overlay fractions and decimals on these 10 percent increments. The fractions will be out of 10, so starting with 0, we have 0 out of 10. 10 percent is 1 out of 10. 20 percent is 2 out of 10 and so forth until we get over to 1 which is 10 out of 10. Now fractions are division problems, so they give us our decimal equivalents. 0 divided by 10 is 0. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2 and so forth until we get over to 10 divided by 10, which is 1. Now let's write percents as fractions. Write 45 percent as a fraction in simplest form. Percent means per hundred, so 45 percent is 45 over or out of 100. This fraction can be simplified. 45 and 100 have a common factor of 5. So let's go ahead and divide the numerator and denominator by 5. 45 divided by 5 gives us 9 in the numerator of our reduced fraction and 100 divided by 5 gives us 20 in the denominator. So as a fraction in simplest form, 45 percent is 9 over 20. Now let's write 125 percent as a fraction in simplest form. Again, percent means per hundred, so 125 percent is 125 over 100. Now this fraction can be simplified too. 125 and 100 have a common factor of 25. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by 25. In the numerator, 125 divided by 25 gives us 5. And in the denominator, 100 divided by 25 is 4. So as a fraction in simplest form, 125% is 5 over 4. Now notice we have an improper fraction and most of the time we don't want to keep our answer in improper fraction form. But the question did ask for our answer in fraction form, so this is fine. But if you want to turn it into a mixed number, that's acceptable too. 5 divided by 4 will give us a whole number of 1 and a remainder of 1 over 4 for a mixed number answer of one and one quarter. Now let's write percents as decimals. Write 19 percent as a decimal. Percent means per hundred, so 19 percent is written as 19 over 100. Now fractions are just division problems, so when we divide, we'll get a decimal answer. 19 divided by 100 is 0.19. Now if you don't like to divide, there is an easier way to get our answer. Dividing any number by 100 just moves the decimal point two places to the left. 
So let's go ahead and do this problem again, but just move the decimal point. We're going to start by writing down the number without its percent symbol. So I'll write down 19. Now you want to locate the decimal point in your number. And remember, if you don't see a decimal point, put one at the end. Now we're going to move the decimal two places to the left. One, two, and we're going to place a zero in front of the decimal to get our answer of 0 0.19. Now let's write 3.41 percent as a decimal. First we're going to write down the number without the percent symbol and locate the decimal point in your number. It's pretty easy. It's between the 3 and the 4 this time. Move the decimal two places to the left. One, two, and fill the empty space with a zero, and of course place a zero in front of the decimal, and that gives us our answer of 0 0.0341. Now let's write decimals as percents. Turning decimals into percents uses the opposite process from the one we just used, where we turned percents into decimals. So rather than moving the decimal point two places to the left, we're going to move it two places to the right. So let's write 0.05 as a percent. Write down the number to start, 0.05. Locate the decimal point in the number, it's right between the two zeros. And move it two places to the right, 1, 2. Now the leading zeros can be ignored, and so we have an answer of 5%. Now let's write 2.72 as a percent. Start by writing down the number, 2.72. We're going to locate the decimal in the number. It's between the first 2 and the 7. Move the decimal two places to the right, 1 and 2. And there's our answer, 272%. Now let's write a fraction as a percent. Let's write 3 eighths as a percent. First write down the fraction to start. I'll write down 3 over 8. Now since fractions are division problems, we're just going to divide 3 by 8. That gives us 0 0.375. And now that we have a decimal, we move the decimal point two places to the right to turn our answer into a percent. So let's move it one time, two times, and three-eighths is thirty-seven and a half percent. Now let's write twenty-two over two as a percent. Again, start by writing down the fraction. Twenty-two over two. Since fractions are division problems, we're going to divide twenty-two by two. That's pretty easy to do. That gives us eleven. Now locate the decimal point in the number. Remember, if you don't see one, put one at the end of the number, just like that. And now that we have a decimal, we move the decimal point two places to the right to get our answer as a percent. Now we're going to fill the empty spaces with zeros. So 22 over 2 is 1,100%. Congratulations! You've learned how to write equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents.